Hey there, fit and healthy friends. If you're someone who is trying to lose weight, maybe build some muscle, and you're wondering what type of protein powder is gonna help you lose weight, then this video is for you. I recently did a video on some of my favorite protein powders for weight loss, health, muscle building, but there's something really important that you should know about protein powders for weight loss. And that is, there is not a magical ingredient or magical protein powder that is going to help you lose weight just because you're taking the protein powder. So I wanna explain a little bit more about how protein powders work, how they can contribute to weight loss and how to properly use them to reach your goals. If you're new here, I'm Holly. I'm a registered dietitian, certified holistic nutritionist and certified personal trainer. And I've dabbled in quite a few areas of weight loss, athletics, fitness. I've used protein powders for everything from a fitness competition to building muscle, to losing weight, to just helping to support a healthy body. So I hope that this video will help you to do the same. So as I said, there's not really something magical about any specific protein powders that are going to help you lose weight no matter what you do with the rest of your life. What really matters is your total energy intake, so all of the calories that you're eating throughout the day, your macronutrient breakdown, so how much carbohydrates, fat, and protein that you're eating during the day, even your water intake, and then your overall energy expenditure. So those are the most important parts, along with other parts of your overall health, such as things like sleep and managing stress and your gut health. These all play a part in weight loss. And then the protein powder are a supplement, meaning they are intended to supplement a good, well-rounded, healthy diet. They are just a way to get in additional protein into your diet. And this particularly matters if you are doing things like weightlifting, strength training, athletic performance, or you just struggle to eat enough protein. They're also really good pre and post workout. So when you work out with weights, you are breaking your muscles down, or if you're doing really high intense exercise or long endurance, your muscles break down over that process. And when you consume a protein powder, pre-workout and post-workout, this can help with protein synthesis, which helps to repair the muscles and helps you to build those muscles back stronger when they repair. Getting adequate protein is very important to building muscle, and having muscle is very important for weight loss. The more muscle you have, the more calories you burn on a daily basis, even if you're lying on the couch or you're sleeping, if you have more muscle, your body burns more calories per day. So muscle building is essential to weight loss, and protein is essential to muscle building. Protein is also essential to keep you satiated. So feeling full, feeling satisfied. If you eat a big bowl of cereal or a bagel or, or fruit for breakfast, there's a good chance that an hour or two later, you're gonna be hungry again. And so you're gonna consume more food. If you eat a protein rich breakfast with let's say 10, 15, 20, 25 grams of protein, you're probably gonna stay fuller much longer. This is scientific, this is also anecdotal. All of my clients experience this if they have not been eating enough protein, that if they switch to a higher protein breakfast, they don't snack as much during the day, they're able to last longer until lunch, and they tend not to overeat as much later in the day as well. So here's how I would recommend using protein powders to support your weight loss goals. Look for a protein powder, kind of like this one. Uh, this is Orgain. There's also these smaller versions that are basically pre-mixed and ready to drink. Another one I showed in a recent video is this Earth Champ protein powder. This has 120 calories in one serving. This one has 150 grams uh, calories per serving. Both have approximately 20 grams of protein. For the average person, 150 calories is a pretty small amount of food. That's a very small snack. It's not a meal. So these are, are really good to use, like I said, maybe after a workout when you have broken down muscle and you need to start repairing that quickly. 
It gives you a quick dose of protein, and then you can later go and eat your breakfast, your lunch, or dinner, depending on when you worked out. These can also be used as a small snack replacement. So if you just need a little something to get you to your next meal, protein powders can work well for that. Or you can use it as part of a meal replacement. So again, 150 calories, not very much. I would never recommend that someone eat a complete meal that is only 150 calories. So I like to use them in the morning as part of a protein shake that has fruit and veggies and different supplemental powders in there. I will usually put oats in and maybe a fat like avocado or hemp seeds. So then this breakfast shake becomes maybe 400 calories with lots of protein in it. So that's a great way to use it if you're going to use it as a meal replacement. You can also pair it with a piece of fruit or some nuts for a really good, well-rounded, healthy snack. And then you just want to look for some of the cleanest, safest sources of protein powders that aren't full of fillers, aren't full of tons of carbohydrates, aren't full of sugar. You can look at my last video that I did on some of my favorite protein powders to get some ideas, and I've already mentioned a couple of them in this video. So to recap, a protein powder alone is not going to cause you to lose weight. It's how you use it. So it's best used as part of workout recovery to promote that muscle building and spare the muscle that you have and as a way to keep you full and satiated so that you're less likely to overeat later. These are the best ways to use protein powder for weight loss. So overall, when it comes to weight loss, the most important thing is to know how your body works, how much energy you're expending, how many calories you're taking in, what your portion sizes should be, what healthy foods are, that's going to have the most impact on your weight loss. And then the protein powders can just help you through that process. So if you feel like you don't really know what this is for you, you're not sure how much to eat or if you're eating the right foods or what to do for weight loss, please reach out to me. I would be happy to give you a free consult for nutrition and fitness coaching. Additionally, I have meal plans on my website that have full days of meals and snacks and recipes. You can download one of those plans if you're not sure what a good, well-rounded day of eating should look like. Those meal plans also all include protein shakes and smoothies of different types. They have links to some of these products. So that's a great way to start your weight loss and healthy eating process if you're not quite sure what you should be doing. Those are great templates that use natural, healthy, nutrient-dense foods. And again, reach out to me if you need individualized support to help you in your weight loss journey, your fitness, and your health goals. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, give it a like, share it with someone who may benefit from it as well, and go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And until the next one, blessings on your health and fitness journey.